there, people. Welcome, welcome to the stream. How y'all doing? Oh, I tell ya. It's good to be here. I know no one's here yet. Everybody's usually try. Everybody's probably um, expect me to be on um, on um, at three o'clock, but I decided to start the stream fifteen minutes early. Well, I schedule it for two forty-five my time, so it'll be like three forty-five Mountain, five forty-five Central, and six forty-five Eastern. Welcome, hey Paul, what's happening? Hey there, Mr. Jeff, and and Wei Wei himself, Sam, the man, the man, not the ma'am. Uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. It's like saying hi. Um, well, I had a whole bunch of haven't had this happen in a long time. Someone came in there and gave me all kinds of thumbs up. So that's that's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah. So I I got my whole bunch of thumbs up before I started streaming. When I first started streaming, people would come in, especially the Filipino channels and stuff, would come in and just bombard my my thumbs up with, um, you know, and giving me bananas, I guess that's what they call it. And so, uh, yeah. Hey, Gail, how's it going? And so, uh, oh, you're, uh, you're driving? That's great. That's great. Um, yeah, but, um, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, so, I mean, it was, I know maybe some of them are fake, fake thumbs up or whatever, because, um, it was like 180 and then, um, a couple of days ago, and then all of a sudden went down a little bit. And so it's been going, it's been going between, uh, 68 to 70 for, the last 24 hours and so um yeah so anyway that's all right that's all right what's everybody been doing got some jokes to tell you well, not not too much new jokes i might i might go um on the desktop and read some newer ones um i got a couple sites that i could read but didn't really look anything up i got I've, I'll tell you the truth. I've been slacking. I should have been doing a lot more than I should be. But I've been watching the um, this one show called The Black called Blacklist on Netflix, and it um, it went from like 2003 or 2013 to 2023. So last lasted um, ten years, and a lot about espionage and FBI corrupted and, and it was like, it's a TV show called a blacklist and it's, it's addicting. And so, um, just enough to keep you interested. And so, you know, they tell a whole story, but they have like a little, little bit of something, you know, to keep you interested. And so, yeah, so that's what I should have been doing my jokes for the last couple of days. I've been, Watch, been watching this one show called The Blacklist, and um, yeah, so uh, yeah, anyway, but I do have jokes with you, I got lots of jokes, so I will um t start telling them right, I guess, right now, huh? Uh, so I got so many things. Do I start my? I think I'll, I haven't started, I haven't done this in a while, so I think I'll start my notebook. Oh, I've got pencils here. Yeah. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Mark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. And Red Racer, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, yo. I'm glad you all are here. Um, you know, I just thought I'd come in here and, you know, this is the, um, I didn't mark it down, but this is the 80th, the 80th show. I might, I might change it right now. Um, this is, um, Number 80, episode 80. And so that's pretty cool. Can you believe it? It's been 80. It seems like the sometimes it seems like it feel like there'll be a lot more, you know, 
but then other times it it um it doesn't seem like it's been that long you know seems like i've been forever telling the fishy dad jokes but i have it but you know uh, <laughs> that's all right let's get this set up and i'll start telling some jokes all right all right looks good to me let's get let's get busy and start to tell some jokes okay hopefully my stream there the title of this show is we all need jokes we do we all need jokes i tell you we all need some uh, laughter in the world you know even us fish people uh, yeah uh, yeah so Back to lurking. My first time watching. Congratulations, Talent Dadget. Thank you. Yes, we. Uh, this is just basically, basically my starting of the week. I I tell fishy dad jokes, and then I have a show called the After Jokes, which usually is on the next the next day, in the, about in the evening time, and then um, I start. Then I have a. I have a, I go on, sometimes I go on Saturdays, but a lot of times I go on Sundays <coughs> and either Monday or Tuesday or either Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Depends on, you know, how bad the traffic is. But this is my, this is my um, regular channel. The rest are pop-ups. I have After the Jokes, I have the Buzz pop-up, and I have Hanging with George RB3. And, um, Basically, those will last a little bit longer. This last probably hour, um, we get into jokes. We talk about fish. We talk about everything. Talk about life, you know. And, you know, and sometimes they it lasts for like an hour and a half. Sometimes it lasts for three hours. This one lasts probably about an hour. So let's. With that said, welcome, Gail. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming, and um, I hope you enjoy. Okay. You know, my grandfather told me back in the day he could walk into a store with $2 in his pocket. He could walk out with a loaf of bread, a gallon of milk, a block of cheese, some butters, and some pastries. He says you can't do that anymore. You can't go, can't walk in a store. And walk out with that. You know why? Because of all the cameras. Yep, he used to walk in with $2 in his pocket. You know, I tell you, great news. My sister just had her baby. Yeah, she just had a baby. I knew she had it in her. <laughs> um, did you hear about the Roman Empire? Um, at night, um, yeah, the Roman Empire. Emperor, Emperor. At 19, he stopped the aging. He's Constantine. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see right here. Um, yeah. Um, not that long ago, my, my, um, when it was a nice day, it's a nice, beautiful day out here right now. But my, um, my wife has her company, she has a company of barbecues. And I went to the company barbecue with her, you know, being her husband, you know, and everything. And and um, the guy that was supposed to be doing the barbecue, he was sick. So the manager asked me if I would if I would do it. I said, sure, I know how to barbecue. So I'm cooking hot dogs and hamburgers, you know, flipping them in there, serving them, and I'm cooking up some steaks. And and the her manager comes up and says. Well done. He passed me on the shoulder and says, well done. I looked at him. I said, thank you. He had this dumb look on his face. And he was like looking at the steak. I went, oh, you want your steak well done. I thought he was telling me that I was doing a good job. I tell you. <laughs> um, you know, at age 65, my grandma, my grandmother started walking. You know, started walking. Um, um, 10 miles a day, which is pretty good. And, you know, that'd be awesome. But now at age, like, 82, um, we don't know where she's at. 
<laughs> oh, how do you put a baby astronaut to sleep? You rock it. Uh, told my wife who under, yep, got in a little trouble the other day. My wife, she got a little mad at me. Told her her underwear was a little bit too tight and a little bit too revealing. And she said, George, 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 you've got to stop wearing my underwear. I said, all right, honey. <laughs> uh, I stopped buying things with Velcro on it. You know why? Because it's a totally ripoff. Yep, it's a total ripoff. Um, you know, I don't always tell dad jokes. But what I do, uh, my dad laughs, which is could be cool. But my dad's been passed away since 2005. So it's kind of unnerving a little bit. But in a way, it makes me kind of feel happy that even after life, I'm still making them laugh, still making them proud of me. Hello, 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 Craig. How are you doing? Just sitting here telling jokes. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah. My wife got upset with me the other day. She says, why don't you ever buy, my, buy me flowers? And I'm like going, I would. I told I would, but I didn't know you sold flowers. I don't think that's what she meant. She meant that she wanted me to buy her flowers from a store. But, I, you know, I even got more trouble, I tell you. <laughs> yep, I've been, like the other day, I've been struggling to get my wife's attention. You know, I, I, I talked to her and I talk, don't get her attention. So you know what I did? I went, I grabbed the remote. I sat down in the in um, the the couch. I had myself a nice drink. And I turned on the TV. I put my feet up, and my wife, my wife, started paying attention. She started asking me all kinds of questions. I said, "Now you ask me questions." You know that's how it is. You know. <laughs> ah, but, uh, uh, I ran to a post. Yeah, I ran into a lab post the other night, but don't worry. I only suffered life, light, um, light injuries. Yeah. Talk about um, driving and stuff. I went for a drive. Um, you know, it was, it's been really nice out. I went to drive last, last night. It was really, really light. I couldn't sleep. With it. So I'm, I'm like driving along and there, there was nobody around and everything. And I looked. Off that distance, I saw some headlights, and as it as it, it was getting closer, it started slowing down, and the person in the in the in the um, driver's seat told me to roll down the window. I recognized her; she was my ex-wife. She looked at me and said, "Pig!" I went, "I got mad." I'm like, "Guy, you know, I'm like how dare she call me a pig?" And I went, "I went witch," and I rolled up the window and I I gunned it. And as I was coming around the curve, there was a pig standing in the road. I missed it by that much. So the moral of the story is, if your ex-girlfriend or ex-husband or ex-boyfriend or whatever calls you a pig, slow down. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yep, this morning I went to a job interview. Yep. Um, I decided it's time to start working again. I walked into a computer store because I, I love computers. And, um, and the manager said, hi, George. And I said, hello. And I shook hands and said, I'll tell you what. This this interview is going to be really quick. If you can sell me that laptop right there, the job's yours. So without saying a word, I picked up the laptop. I put it underneath my arm and I walked out the store. I looked in the mirror and his mouth was just open. I got home. I poured myself a cup of coffee, sat down. The phone rang. I said, uh, George? I said, yes. He says, yeah, this is Tim from the computer store. Um, we like, our, we like our, our laptop back. I said, I'll tell you what. For $200, I'll, I'll sell you the laptop. Well, he told me if I could sell it, you know. <laughs> uh, why did Spock? Wanted to use Catholic Kirk's bathroom. 
because he wanted to see the captain's log. 6 30 is the best is the best time on the clock. Hands down. I tell you. Everyone know about everyone knows about Albert Einstein, right? Everybody knows about Albert Einstein. Was a genius, right? He was a genius. But his brother Frank Einstein was a monster. Yeah. Uh what did what's the difference between a jeweler and a prison guard? One watches sales. And one sells watches. What does a nearsighted genealogist and a puppy have in common? Wet noses. Mm -hmm. uh, when does red when does red mean go and and green means stop? When you're eating a watermelon. Red means go when you're eating a watermelon. You know, you got to eat the watermelon. And when you see green, it stop. Don't you hate it when people answer their own questions? I do. Yesterday, I really scared the mailman. I came to the door, stark naked. And he's like going, uh, what are you doing? What, what are you doing at my house? I'm going to call the cops. So I got out of there. I, I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> Do you know what the least spoken language in the world is? Sign language. Yep. What sound does a seven forty seven makes when it when it bounces? Boing, 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 boing. Went to the ear doctor the other day. He said I was going deaf. It was really hard for me to hear that. What did the nut say to the other nut while chasing it? I'm going to catch you. <laughs> Never yell at into a colander. It will strain your voice. As I handed my friends his 50th birthday card, he looked at me and says, Really, George? You only had to get me one. What is um? What is Irish and stays out outside all year long? I patio furniture. Talk about patio furniture. This is um. St. Patrick's Day doesn't fall on on um on my fish dad jokes, but what they what uh not this. Yeah, next week I will do a special St. Patty's Day um, stream. You know, I'll wear a hat and, and I will, I will, I will talk in, I will talk in the Irish accent. I will, I, I would, I would tell you all kinds of jokes. I'll tell you leprechaun jokes and Irish jokes and all the, all the in between. I will do that for you. Yeah, yeah, because I'm a, I'm a good lad. You guys are good lad and lasses. You know. <laughs> what if a Chinese person has been smoking and drinking? I don't know. What? Uh, I, I, I will be telling you jokes, that is. That means I'm going to have to find some new Irish jokes. I have some old ones in my, my folder here. But I'll be, be looking for some more. So if you have any more to give me, just send me a online anyway don't forget to hit that thumbs up um don't have a lot of people here watching today um don't know where everybody's at but hopefully more people will come in that's why i found out that my people for some reason uh on thursday don't watch me as much a lot, a lot of them come in there and they give thumbs up and stuff, and or it shows it shows they watch a little bit on, um, you know, afterwards. But my, um, they're busy doing other stuff, so I may, I may change my fishy dad jokes to another, another day. 
another time. I don't know. Um, they'll change it up. Everything. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see who's anybody streaming right now. There might be someone streaming right now. Uh, I think there might be. Uh, uh, it looks like I'm the only one streaming right at this moment, but I mean, people just doing some other stuff. That's all right. They could be working or sleeping. Yeah. They could be. So I may change it. I may change it to a later time. Most of most of our people come in a little bit later. You know. Well, some of the people are hitting just getting off work and some people are 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 eating dinner. So I may I may stream um even a little bit earlier or or stream later or another day or whatever, but who knows? I don't really care. How are you doing, Keith? Are you bothering him, Keith? I mean, uh, Jeff. <laughs> oh, I don't care. Here, I just as long as I get talk to you guys. Just as long as, you know, the thing is, even if you guys don't stay for all, all the jokes or whatever, at least come in and hit that thumbs up and say hi. You know, and visit for a little bit. And um, I'm not going to get rid of fish dad jokes. I'm still, even if there's only a couple people that come in, I'm still going to have my my stream. You know, this is just something I'm going to do. So I may, I may keep it on the same time. I don't know. More strike, and you're getting time out. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you'd be good to him now. Uh, but yeah. Um, let's see what happened. Yeah. Um. The funniest thing happened the other day. Yeah, I was in this. I was in this town. I was. I was in another town, and 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 um. All of a sudden, I was. All of a sudden, the devil pops up, and so of course I I I hide, and you know I kind of hid behind a, a trash can, and a uh, mailbox, and um, I noticed this. Everybody left except for this old man. And this is what I heard. Well, the devil comes up and he's smiling. And I'll say he sees this old man sitting, sitting there. He says, he says, he says, he walks up and he says, do you know who I am? And the old man says, yep. He says, and you're not scared of me? He says, nope. Don't you realize that I, I am the prince of darkness? I can make you, you burn in, burn in hell for eternity? Yep. And you're not scared of me? Nope. Don't you know I could torture you and torture you? Yep. And you're not scaring me? He says, nope. He said, why aren't you scaring me? He said, well, for the last 28 years, I've been married to your sister. <laughs> so that's why he's not scared of him. Married to his sister. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, got my glasses on. Okay. What is what is leafy and 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 invisible? This cabbage. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was walking into a um, Asian forest, and I found out the the scariest um, plant is bamboo. <laughs> yeah, bamboo. It's bamboo. Bamboo. <laughs> it's the scariest plant in the Asian forest. What uh, okay. What was the favorite what was the foot's favorite type of chips? Doritos. I uh what did the plumber say to the singer? Nice pipes. Talk about plumber. This lady, her her told So she calls a plumber, and, and the plumber said, "Okay, I'll be there in the morning." So she waited. The next morning, she waited. Go oh, about ten o'clock. Nothing happened. Eleven o'clock. Nothing happened. Twelve o'clock. Nothing happened. So she decides to run to the store really quick, and uh, you know he hasn't come. So when she was gone, the plumber comes. Right? 
I guess his mornings is like later in the morning. I guess afternoon is what his mornings, I guess. But um, he locks the door and the lady's parrot uh, says, who is that? And not knowing that it's a parrot, he said, it's the plumber. I came to fix your toilet. Nothing. So he knocks at the door and the parrot says, who is that? It's the plumber. I came to fix your toilet. And nothing happened. He knocks at the door again. Who is that? It's the plumber. I came to fix your toilet. This went on for a long time. So finally, he bangs on the door. Who is that? It's the plumber. I came to fix your toilet. And he knocks down the door and he has a heart attack. And he's laying there on the, on the ground. The lady comes home and she's like, oh no, who is that? It's the plumber. He came to fix your toilet. <laughs> uh, if spaghetti made an action movie, what would it be called? Mission Impasta Ball. What's a fake noodle? Impasta. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what the fake noodle was. <laughs> when does red meat go? Oh, I already said that. Yesterday, I really. I really scared my mail. Oh, I already read that. I know. Uh, uh, I think I already read these. Yep, I already read that one. Okay. I already read these. I write these down so I can remember them, so I can tell you. Impostable. Mission Impostable. That's right. Hello, Skeddy. How's it going? <laughs> uh, I really appreciate all of you here. You guys, you guys, it really means a lot to me. And thank you for hitting that thumbs up. Um, you know, even though I have a lot, I still, um, I still like um, to, you know, but it's more important that you guys are here. But, you know, if you guys can hit that thumbs up, it means a lot to me too. So, you know, it doesn't really matter really. Uh Anyway, yeah, so um haven't really been doing a good thing. I went and um uh, um uh, went to the store, got my dog a couple of bone knuckle bones um at the at at the store and they're they're right now they're chewing on them and um they have meat on them and stuff and you know looks kind of gross but they they love them. Um uh, had to had to help my mom a little bit today. Um, I guess her her phone quit working, and I realized that her that uh, I I had a I updated her debit card because her debit card or her uh, bank card expired, and it also has Visa on it, and or and that expired, and so um, and so I had to call up her. I had to call up her. Um, her phone company and and reissued the um, you know give them the number the um, backup card number so that she could have service and all she said yes I don't have any phone service I said mom I'm taking care of it it's really hard to see your parents get older it really is it it's really taking a toll on, you know knowing that and so um, but. That's life, you know, and you know it's also knowing, you know, you're you're if they're getting older, you're getting older. So it's like really, really tough. It's really hitting me. I didn't really think about it before. Life is short. Yeah, gotta live it the best you can. Kane and Undertaker, Heaton, uh, Clerics, wrestling. Oh, that's cool. Wanted to watch a whole video about the math behind and, and how to tell if you're a good tech like Jeff or some greasy. <laughs> you know. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, Crow. How's it going, my friend? Hey, Jay. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I tell you, we're getting, you all come in here. That's great. That's great. Anyway, let's go ahead and tell some more jokes. Can you believe it's only been like, Wow. Um, okay. Eight o'clock. 
okay, but it was real time consuming. I used to be a spray, afraid of speed bumps, but slowly getting over it. Yeah. I, if I invented a laxative with a pain, with a pain reliever, I'm going to call it, I, you know, I combine a laxative and a, a pain, uh, a pain reliever. I'm going to be call it, I'd be pooping. A laxative and a pain reliever, I'll be called, I'd be pooping, you know. I'm working up. I woke up with stir fry again this morning. I got to stop uh, walking in my stop. I messed it there. Hmm. I it's really hard when you when you write down your notes. You don't even know what it says. I think this is what it is. I woke up with stir fry in my bed this morning. I gotta stop, stop walking in my sleep. Worked up, woke up, and that's probably what it is. <laughs> you know the Himalayas mountains is a range, one of the tallest ranges in the world. Imagine how tall it would be if he was a, if he was a standing. Himalayas, Himalayas is one of the tallest mountains in the world. Can you imagine what it would be how tall? Um, Tall it would be if he was to stand. My 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 what my wife asked me was a piece of quiet while she was cooking dinner. So I went and took out the batteries of the smoke smoke alarm. Yep, it didn't go off. I decided my favorite color is green. I may like it better than blue and yellow mixed together. My favorite color is green. I like it. Um, Better than blue and yellow mixed together. Yep. Have you ever noticed how frogs seem like they're always smiling? I wonder if they're happy about everything. <laughs> I hired a handyman and handed a list of six things to do around the house. But he only did one, three, and five. I asked him why. And he he didn't fin finish why he didn't finish all the was on this. He said he only does odd jobs. He only did one, three, and five with this. I just got a pin that writes underwater. Yes, I have a pin that writes underwater. Of course, it writes other words, too. But, yeah, that's a size plate. <laughs> uh. mm. Did you know that 95% of electrical cars are on the road are on the road today. The other 5% made it home. Yep. Which celebrity always, always ready to eat cereal? Reese with a spoon. <laughs> with her spoon. She is the celebrity. Reese with a spoon is a celebrity that loves to eat cereal. So I got a, co um, a couple nice ceiling fans the other day but they are so annoying they keep on saying great ceiling way to go all the time got a couple of nice ceiling fans the other day and they kept it was kind of annoying because all the time they say nice ceiling way to go all right yeah yep you know dogs don't don't actually have foreheads. They just have one. You know, dogs don't have foreheads. They just have one. <laughs> Two soldiers are in a tank. One looks at the other and says, blub, 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 blub. <laughs> Two fishermen in a tank. One looks at the other one and says, do you know how to drive this thing? I was kissing my wife the other day. Mm, yeah. Yeah. On the couch, you know, she whispers in my ear, why don't we take it upstairs? I said, okay, you grab one end and I'll grab the other. I don't think that's what she meant. But, you know, she got kind of a little upset with me. You know, I heard a lot of people pick their noses. 
yeah. But I just was born with mine. Yeah. You know that 10 plus 10 and 11 plus 11 is the same thing? Yeah, I'll prove it to you. 10 plus 10 equals 20. 11 plus 11 is... I told you. Why don't eggs tell jokes? Because they're always cracking each other up. Why didn't the skeleton skydive? Because he had no butt, no guts. What do you call a cheese that's not yours? Not your cheese. Uh, how do YouTubers stay cool? They have lots of fans. I like to give a shout out to Sidewalks for keeping me off the streets. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Sh Christopher. How's it going? Hello, Ling Yang. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. You know, thank you so much for coming in here today. I got four bone rams yesterday, and they have yet given yet to even look at my any of my food. They color up nicely, but they're not eating. Well, they just give them just give them some time. They're probably still a little stressed. Sometimes fish fish take a little bit longer the, on there, you know. If they'll eat like another couple of days, Christopher, I would, you know, I would um, maybe see about maybe changing what they what you feed them and everything. But they're probably they're probably still, you know, some fish take a little bit longer to eat than others. Some there's a lot of my fish. I put them in the tank and they within within an hour they're eating stuff. But there's some. Some fish I put in my tank, and it wasn't for another couple of days. Not that they're sick; it's just they're all all fish are a little bit different. Because just like anything else, sometimes they're any kind of animals. They they can be different. So I would give it I would give it a couple of days, and if they um, you know if they don't, then I start worrying about it. But you know I I wouldn't really worry about it too much. I would keep an eye on them and make sure they're not like um, loading up or looking sick, of course, you know. But, you know. Uh, hello, Kimball's TV. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Always glad to have everybody in here. Um, <sighs> yeah, so I don't know. I'm, I'm wanting, I gotta get my, I gotta get, um, I gotta go get my official license still. I haven't, um, being a veteran, disabled veteran, I get my my license paid for, and I want to go. I want to go actually go out. That's one thing I love doing too is fishing. I have tried flakes, microwave for frozen. Bro. They haven't even looked at, but the Corys love it. Well, that's what I'm saying. If that's the case right there, I would just wait a couple a couple days, another day or two. And then they go from there because some fish, if you if the other fish are eating that cords eating that, must be the fish are still kind of you know, and um, I know my I got some rams I got some uh, what what did I get I got some golden 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 rams and um, I had several of them didn't eat for a couple of days I had a couple eight you know, eight, but then, but I had them for, for years, you know, they're, they're, they're really getting healthy. So, I mean, you know, I'm not saying don't keep an eye on them because there, because there may be something in there, you know, but a lot of times it's just the, if you got them in there and they're, you know, I would, I would, um, Especially if you you know put them in a new tank or just got them a new tank, they're they're probably still getting used to it. Sometimes it you know doesn't mean that they're you know hmm. yeah. So passing wind one way. <laughs> uh, uh, I got to my son for using the whistle in the house. I told him I give him one more chance for him not to blow the whistle in the house. Unfortunately, he blew it. 
He, you know, I was washing the car with my son the other day. Yeah, we're having a good old time. At least I was. And he finally he said, Dad, next time, why don't you just use a, a sponge or washcloth? Well, I didn't realize he didn't want me he didn't like we washed the car with them. I, I thought we were bonding, you know. Uh, yep, two hunters, two hunters were out in the wood, out in the woods hunting, and um, all of a sudden one falls down, and he's like laying there, not moving, and so the one of the hunters he calls, she says nine one one, what's the emergency? I have a friend, we're out, we're out here hunting, right? And my friend, all of a sudden, just fell down. He stopped moving. I think he's dead. And the operator said, well, first of all, go make sure he's dead. And so he said, okay, I'll be right back. And all of a sudden, he, she heard, bang, bang. He comes back and said, all right, he's dead. Now what? <laughs> well, Yes, but there's sometimes fish don't eat. Um, yeah, they, they'll eat in 24 hours, but sometimes it'll take a couple of days for them to eat. I mean, a lot of people don't know this too, that um, if you have a if you have a healthy tank and your tank is established, you could actually go go for like you know a lot of times a week without feeding your fish. If you're going on vacation, um, because um, you know it's just the way they're they 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 can adapt. But that that's what, if your fish are health one, if your fish are healthy, and and one that you know they've been in the tank for a while, because they'll eat they'll eat on um, other uh, good bacteria in the tank, and, or or they'll they'll slow down their metabolism. So. What it depends on where they they were actually shipped from. Their metabolism must might have been they might have been so used to not eating that uh, you would think they'd be just starving. Um, but you know it may take a while for them to their metabolism get back going. So I would I I wouldn't worry too much, uh, especially if there's nothing you really can do about it. I would keep a I would keep an eye on them, and in in another day, day maybe two, if they're not eaten, then um, I would um, make sure you check your water parameters, uh, you know, of, of everything. Then uh, then you know if that's all right, you know, make sure everything's okay to take. Then then I would worry about it. But you know, it'll it'll be it'll work itself out. Yeah, well, the th you, the good thing is, um, your quarry cats are eating, and and I don't know if there's any other fish in there are eating, but if they're they, they are, they'll be it'll be okay. There you go again, hot mess express. I tell you, <laughs> yeah, you can you could post that there, way way. Yeah, that that could be too. Yeah, well, you know, you know, it maybe yeah, especially oh, you got you got from a um, from another state, yeah. So it might be the water too, you know, Justin. So I mean, so I wouldn't worry about it, uh, you know. Of course, yeah. You know. <sighs> what is faster, hot or cold? Hot because you can catch a cold. <laughs> What's blue and not very heavy? Light blue. Hello, kids. Hi. Yeah, my kids just got home. Ah. So, scientists got tired of watching the Earth turn. So, after 24 hours, they called it a day. Yep. Yeah. 
You pass and win. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you want to tell people, tell people about my channel, go ahead and tell people about my channel too. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah. The thumbs up really means a lot to me. It really does. Um, you know, so go ahead and do that. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Got some new jokes here. Okay. Uh, did you hear about the robbery at the police station? All their toilets were, st were stolen. Yeah, they have. They still have anything to go on. Yeah, I was at ten. I was at a gym the other day, and there there was some cheese working out. Um, I think if it continues, he'll end up being shredded. Yeah. What do you call a laughing motorcycle? A Yamaha ha 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 ha. My therapist told me I have trouble verbalizing my emotions. Can't say I'm a surprise. I'm going to excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now, somebody posted something here. The Hot Mess Express. You want people to get rid of my stream that quick? I know you want people to go by stream, but you always you always are pushing a hot pass express. I tell you, I don't mind you doing that, but you know, people can read the comments. If they can't, oh well. You know. <laughs> doing a good job, way way. Just don't be too pushy. Don't. Don't shove it down their throats. They'll find a way. Yeah, yeah. I think Aussies prefer to do it in the day time instead of the night because they're always saying, Good day, mate. Yeah, my wife was getting a little upset with me. She's finally asked, why do you keep pressing all my buttons? I told her, just trying to find the mute button. Mm, I think she got mad at me. <laughs> uh, did you hear about the did you hear about the robbery at Walmart pharmacy? Yeah, there's a robbery at Walmart pharmacy. Two men stole uh, stole all their Viagra. The police, the, the police don't have that much to, to go on, except they're looking for two hardened criminals. Yep. So Viagra. Yeah. Uh, you know, astronauts don't have sex at night. They, they good day. I think they, they do it in the day. Oh, Australians. Oh, I already said that. I was asked one, once if I enjoy making court gestures. I answered, guilty. My therapist told me I have trouble. Okay, I already read all that. I tell you, we're just going on here. Okay, I'm going from the back to front. <laughs> I won't, you know what? I'm so proud of myself. I woke up this morning and I rode, I, I rode, ran around the blocks eight times. Yes. I, I finally got tired, so I finally picked up the blocks, I put them back in the toy box, and went back to bed. But I ran around them eight times, I tell you. <laughs> uh, the other day, I was telling my wife, when I look in the mirror, I only see a fat old man. I then said, I need you to say something positive to make me feel a little better about myself. She says, okay, with a smile and a wink. You have perfect eyesight. Thanks, honey. <laughs> yep. When I was when I was younger, he uh, 
when my boy was younger, he said, Dad, can you tell me what a solar eclipse is? I said, no, son. <laughs> and he said, please, Dad. I said, no, son. Oh. Okay. I was showing my friend my my tool shed. The other day. Yeah. I was out in the shed. And um, I said, this is my step ladder. I said, okay. I said, never knew my real ladder. <laughs> Can't understand why my calculator is not working. Right. It just doesn't add up. How did, how can that, you know what, that's kind of annoying. I'm sorry, you're going to get mad at me probably, but that is annoying. There. You know, kid, advertise it, but you're, you're advertising it right there, so everybody's, Concentrating on that. You're like saying, oh, you're getting tired of George. Just go to um, there. They could come there. You know, everybody knows about that. You know. Um, you know, that's okay to, um, to remind them of that, Sam. But you will have to, like, shove it down their throat. I mean, they'll know. You can remind it every once in a while. But put it, keep it up on there. It's like saying, "Oh, if you're tired of George's, you know, we gotta make sure you're out of here by this time." You know, the thing is, if they people want to stay for longer, they can. If they want to go, they can. You know, I, I don't care. I mean, I, I'm just doing this as fun. You know, um, you know, um, I'm just, I'm just enjoying myself. You know, I, I try not to. To push myself to go into streams, you know, even when I go into Craig's streams here lately, I don't put my 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 um my thing. Even though Craig told me I could, I still try not to do that. I still not still try not to. I you know I I say hey, you guys are invited to come on over, you know, or something like that, or whatever. Or I say I'm leaving. I'm going to my stream, but I don't. I try not to, you know, because that's not right, you know. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm I'm not really upset. I just not really upset. I I don't like getting upset with you, Sam, because you're a good guy. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, the thing is, Sam is a good is he does good and everything, and he, you know, he 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 means well, and so I don't mean in any disrespect. You know, he's a good guy. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're just having a good time. Okay. So. Oh, I got a good one. So this naked, naked um, lady calls her, uh, calls her Herber. And Herber gets there. You know, Herber driver, you know, the. You know, you know, Herber, he drives people around, you know, people. He even could become an Herber. And he's, he's there, and this naked lady, pop, um, he gets a call. He gets a call from this lady, and he comes to her house. She gets comes out the house, and she's stark, you know, she's stark naked. She gets in there, and he sits there, and he looks, he's looking her up and down. And after a while, she says, I know I have a, a nice body, and you don't, probably don't see that many naked you probably don't get that many naked, beautiful women in your um, in your car, but I really have to get going. He said, "Oh no," he said it's not that you are beautiful. You have a nice body. I enjoy looking at it, but I'm just wondering how are you going to pay me? Where did you put the money? 
<laughs> do you call it what do you call a type of waffle found in Southern Cali Beach? A San Diego. You call it a San Diego. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's see here. So, if lightning strikes an orchestra, how more likely to get who's more likely to get hit? The conductor. What did the bad conductor call his twin girls? And a one and a two. <laughs> you know, insurance companies are warning campers if their tent is stolen, they won't be at night. If the tent is stolen at night, they won't be covered. Nope. My ask my, my my wife asked me why I wanted to be cremated. I told her it's my last chance at a smoking hot body. Uh I got mugged by six of Snow White's drawers last night. Not happy. <laughs> yep, not happy. Uh, I was at a bar last night. My wife called me on my cell phone and told me if I'm not home in 10 minutes, she's feeding the dinner that she cooked me to the dogs. I was home in five minutes. I rushed home. I hate anything that happened to the dogs. <laughs> and and my, my wife gave me a hug and, and patted me on the shoulder and said, Earth, that meant the world to me. I asked this older, older man, after 75 years, you still call your wife, darling, love, sweetheart? What's your secret? He said, well... Ten years ago, I forgot her name. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Why can't you use beef stew as a password? Because it's not stroganoff. You get it? beef stroganoff? Uh. A guy on a road trip drove all day. And he decided to, to find a, um, a motel to get some sleep. But... Um, but all the motels were were booked. Finally, he came to this one motel, and he and he said, oh, "Sorry, we're all booked, but we do have we we do have a gentleman that has there's two queen beds, and he said that if we need to, we can we can um um someone needs to, we can use the other bed, and you know, be half off the price, you know." And I and the I said, "Cool." That's great, you know. So, yeah. And he said, "Well, I gotta tell you though, he uh, the neighbors have complained about him snoring, and you may not get that much sleep." He said, "Well, I tell you, I'm so tired, I don't care." So I I go I get my luggage, you know, I go get something to eat, and I go get my luggage, I go go to the room, and there he is, he's asleep in the bed, and he's just a snoring really loud. I'm like, okay. So I, I I shook him a little bit. And I gave him a kiss on the cheek. I said, you have a good night, honey. And I went to bed. And I went to sleep. The next morning, um, I got up. And and um, he was standing. He was, he was sitting there and curled up in a ball looking at me. Sweat just going down his forehead. You know, so. Uh, tell you. <laughs> he was like going, okay, some guy told me, kissed me on the cheek, and told me to have a good night. So, But I slept, and there was no snoring. So, yeah. Uh, two nuns were walking around town, enjoying the day, when they noticed this man was following them. And they got scared. Yeah, they got scared. Um one of the golden nuts said, I'll tell you what, why don't we split up and we'll meet back at the at the church. And you know, to the younger man, it says, and he's he's only about he he can't follow both of us. And so 
they did that, and the old the older nun she got to church first. First, and after a few minutes, um, the other nun she sees the other nun run run to the church. She said, she said, she said, are you, you made it? It says, yes, yes, you're right. The the man did follow me, and he caught up with me, and um, so when he caught up to me, I. Um, I pulled up my dress. I said, sister, you're not supposed to be doing that. I said, well, let me finish. He pulled down his trousers. Sister, I said, said, why did you do that? I said, well, it's really hard for him to um, run down the street with his pants around his his ankles. (laughs) So, yeah. It was funny in my head, I tell you. Oh. You're not completely useless if you serve as a bad example. Yep. You're not completely useless if you serve as a bad example. Uh, so that's cool, though. Uh, well, I appreciate everybody being here. Are we having fun? Everybody's just stopped saying hi and everything. Hello, Jane. Jan Lightning, is everybody still here? Are y'all still here? I hope you. I hope I'm not boring you with my jokes. I tell you. No, hope it makes Sam mad at me. No, he has. You know, I I didn't really get upset, and and I understand that he wants to advertise, um, and I want to advertise her thing, but I just didn't. Um. um you know, you know, I don't, you know, I didn't mean anything by that. I said that, and all of a sudden, everybody shuts up. I apologize, Sam. I didn't mean anything by that. Hope you get, hope you get. <laughs> uh, we're here. Yep. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, tell you. So yeah, it's it's we've been having all kinds of weird weather. I saw um, um, in Oregon, one day could be like really really warm. Next day could be really cold and snowy. I've actually I've actually been in um, you know I've had I lived in another. Um, a town a couple miles away going more south probably about probably about 20 miles away from where i live in now and um in front of the house it was all sunny and everything and kid you not i went into the back of the house the the back walked through the house walked through the kitchen the sliding glass door and the back of the house it was it was um it was raining and so, I mean, one side of the house wasn't raining, the other side of the house was raining. Um, you know, so, yeah. Um, I'll tell you what's really weird is going like in the desert and, and when it has rainstorms, because you can see it's like a, it's like, it's like flat. And all of a sudden you see like a, like a, off the distance, a wall of water coming down, right? You, you go through it. And and it's and you go to the other side and it's all there's no there's no um, no bad weather or anything it's all sunny and stuff. You look at the back window and there's that wall of water again. It's like really weird. It looks like a curtain. I don't know if you guys ever ever drove in the desert and done that, but that's like really you know kind of weird. But um, yeah. So I hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing, I'm doing fantastic. I just thought I'd come here and tell some jokes. And uh, you know, um, but yeah, doing really good. Um, I'm having have a good time. Okay. Um, uh, I heard in London. A a guy gets stabbed every fifty two seconds. 
poor guy. Okay. <laughs> Tried to catch the fog yesterday, but just missed. Uh, working on get working at mirror stuff factory is something I can can totally see myself doing. You know, I can see really see myself working in the mirror factory. What did the pirate say when he turned eighty? I eighty. Why do cows wear bells? Because sometimes their horns don't work. I came up with a new word all by myself. Yes, I came up with the, you guys got to listen to this. I came up with a new word all by myself. It's called plagiarism. I tell you, all by myself, I made it up. <laughs> yep, I can't believe I got fired from the factory, uh, calendar factory the other day. All I did was take a day off. The man who survived pepper spray and mustard ga gas is now a seasoned veteran. Get it? Because when they're in the military, pepper gas and, you know. I went to buy camouflage pants yesterday at the store, but couldn't find any. What do you call a wife of a hippie? Mississippi. Mississippi. Uh... You know, sleeping comes naturally to me. I can do it with my eyes closed. Yep. Did you hear about the kidnapping at the at the grade school? Yes, there was a kidnapping at grade school. Not to worry about it. He woke up. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, I tell you. Yep, the 75-year-old lady went to a doctor. And the doctor was looking at her medicine chart and everything, and and he noticed that it had birth control pills on that. And and she says, ma'am, I noticed you have birth control pills on here. So said, yeah, I do. He says, well, why? He said, well, they help me sleep at night. And he said, and he says with a smile, he says, I assure you, ma'am, it may help you sleep at night. Oh, they do. I said, how do they do it, ma'am? I said, well, every morning I get up and I fix a, I, I pour a glass of uh, apple juice in a glass and I crumpled up the pills. I put it in a glass and I give it to my granddaughter to help me sleep at night. Birth control pills. She goes, <laughs> uh. yep. Here's what I told the other day. I was at a high Richie, Richie and um, oh, this lady was at a high Richie and um, jewelry store, and um, she sees this beautiful necklace. She she goes down to look at it, you know everything, and she farts. Yes, she lets some gas, and she's looking around really embarrassed, it's hoping nobody sees her. Then all of a sudden, she sees a sales clerk coming. Quarter and and um and he said, Oh no, I hope he doesn't know notice. He says he says, Good afternoon, ma'am. How can I help you today? He said, Well, I'd like to know the price of this necklace. He says, Ma'am, if you if you pass gas just by looking at it, do you imagine what would happen if I told you the price? <laughs> oh dear. Yep. Uh, what does a cake and a baseball a baseball have in common? They both need a batter. I have an idea for a new product. Is it combine um, laxative with alphabet soup? I think I'll call it letter rip. The guy who invented the zero, thanks for nothing. I mentioned to my wife I wanted to be cremated. Yeah, so she made an appointment for me for next week. 
it kind of scared me a little bit, you know. I said, I didn't mean I want to be cremated now. I'll tell you. Yeah, I called the paranoia hotline this morning. Yep. They got kind of nervous sounding and said, told me, how did you get this number? Who gave you this number? I'm like, okay. <laughs> My best friend of 10 years ago came out of, the, out of this room and said, it's a boy. Needless to say, we're not going back to Tijuana. <laughs> uh, I once purchased a dog from a blacksmith. As soon as we got home, he made a, do a bolt for the door. Every day I take my cows for a walk. Yes, I heard. I take my cows for a walk. Um, for, um, for a vineyard. Yep, I heard them through the grapevine. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. I think I have time for another joke. So, <clears throat> this is one of my favorite, this is my favorite ones. So, this guy, he nervous, oh, I'll read it to you, okay? Uh, this this guy he nervously walks into a biker bar. He looks around, gathering courage, and asks aloud, "Excuse me, excuse me, but does anyone out there own that big Wattweiler tied to the, up outside?" A huge biker gets up, tattoos on his arms, a cigarette smoke, a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. He says, "says Yeah, I do. What's it to you?" I said, "Um, sorry, but I think you're." Chihuahua killed my. I think my Chihuahua killed him. The biker started laughing. He said, "So, so what the H E L L? What do you mean? What are you talking about? How could a pony, pony little tiny dog kill my my power, powerful Rottweiler?" The guy said, shaking his head and laughing. Well, that's the thing. He got um. You got stuck in your your uh, rot stroke. Yeah, it was a lot funnier in my head. I may have said it wrong, but I'm glad that everybody came tonight. I'm glad that you um, all here. Yeah, you missed out a little bit some jokes. I think I I may have uh, ticked off old Sam. I'm sorry about that, Sam. If you're if you're there, I apologize. You're you're a good guy, but um. Anyway, you know, Sam's a good guy. He's he's actually um a mod um on a lot of channels and stuff, and he has a lot. You know, he works a lot of angles and stuff and everything, and and um. Yeah, I seen. You know, I'm not really upset with him. I he's just he was just trying to um. But the thing is, too, I know it looks some some of the old there. He makes fun of me sometimes, like when I say Washington, um, it's Washington. But I, a lot of times I'll say Washington, and he'll say he'll he'll make fun of me because I put an R in there. Yeah, he he put he he. I was looking there. So sometimes I say Washington. And he says Washington, Washington, Washington. You know, I say that I just happen um, to say Washington when I when I say the word. You know, I mean, um, you know, but I don't know why he makes fun of me. So. So I'm not no. Nah, so I'm not sorry about it. No, by golly, he is a ninety ninety boy, Sam. He is by golly, you know, make you know. And I'm not gonna. I'm not going. I remember, um, my um, 
my mom's mom is from um, a family of 10, 10 brothers and sisters. So they, they play cards. That's why they're, they're, um, they're the main thing. And er, er, over the years, um, every other, every other year, they have a, a, a little family get together and they, they, um, it's at different places. And I think the, this one, one year, several years ago, back in 93, um, they were playing cards at, at, at one of my great aunt's house houses. And, and there's people from Tennessee that lived in Tennessee and they, some cousins or something. And the boy, the boy had a real strong accent. He says, and, and everybody was, um, you know, everybody was kind of making fun of. Him. He says, says, don't hate me for talking funny. I know I talk funny. You know, I mean, you shouldn't, you shouldn't make fun of people for talking the way they do. You know, you know, especially if they're, you know, you should laugh about it and everything. But, um, you know, and um, Sam has has actually made fun of me saying um, Washington and Washington and, and and stuff for a long time, and I'm not going to change it. I I I can say Wa- Washington, and I say Washington, so I'm not going to change the way I say it. So if he doesn't like the way I say that, oh well. Uh, but Sam, you're still welcome here. You're still my super mod. I hope you're not getting upset about it. But you know, I'm a nice guy. I let things go. You know, sometimes I say stuff wrong things. I sometimes I take people off, and I I apologize for that. But that's life. <laughs> oh, anyway, you guys, I went uh, in that on a uh, sour note. But Sam, thank you for everything. Thank you, all my other mods. Uh, thank you for being a super mod. I hope you're not too upset about it. It's all washing under the bridge. <laughs> yep, gotta wash it. But you know the thing is, you know um, when you're up here in in Oregon. Um, when you say someone say Washington, it, you don't really hear about it. But when you get other places, you hear more, you know, because, I mean, there. but if you listen to it, now now you probably listen to it, Carl. You'll hear a couple people say Washington, but even though it's wa- Washington. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny how we all have different accents and stuff. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I love you all, and um, I'll probably have, tomorrow, I probably will do a, um, tomorrow night, uh, um, after jokes, or I may take a couple days off. I may may do some other stuff, but um, I will try to be honest as I can. Anyway. You guys take care. I love y'all. Thank you for coming into my streams. You guys all rock. You guys, you know, without you, I'd just be sitting here talking to myself. Sometimes I do feel like I'm talking to myself, but that's all right. <laughs> I love y'all. You take care. Thanks a lot, everybody. I'm going to be heading on out. I got some stuff to do. Okay, I'm going to go watch, finish watching my, my show, The Blacklist. But that's the size point. I should be vacuuming, but, you know. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. I'll talk to you guys in the streams or I'll be lurking. So you all take care. Thanks for everybody for coming in. Remember, when you go to people's streams, give them that thumbs up. It means a, it it just shows that you're saying hi and you're there and you're, you know, gives you a mark on the on it, you know. Anyway, thanks a lot. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, everybody else who's still here. Love y'all. You have a good night now. Bye.